Hello, we just finished meeting for pronunciation practice on August 2nd, and we have um, a lot of words we didn't get to, so I'll put those on the list for next Tuesday. So starting with executive, Ec I don't release the K, let me change this, Ec I hold my tongue in the K position, executive, the T changes to a D, <clears throat> excuse me, executive. And number four, the TH is voiced, v, so you need vibration, v, and the O-U-G-H is just O, though. And the American O is to two parts, O, finishing with U, not just the. And the same would happen with although. And number five, the TH is unvoiced, so f, just airflow. And the O-U-G-H now sounds like ah, thought. And I'm going to hold my T. Thought. I thought so. Approximately. I'm not releasing my T because the next sound is an L. And I'm getting ready just to make the L. Approximately. Approximately. And this O-U-G-H sounds like uh. Tough. Just uh. And um, some phrases people use together. Tough luck. Tough love. These all have the same uh vowel. Number eight, <clears throat> it could be dawn, D-A-W-N, uh, sunrise. It could be D-O-N, um, a man's name. Um, the female name for dawn is usually spelled with an A-W, but it doesn't have to be. And the vowel is ah, like hot. So dawn, you have to open ah, dawn. And nine is down, and this is ah, your lips have to be back, ow, and then get small, down. And <laughs> this is where um, I couldn't help but think of this old song, and she says the word downtown over and over. <laughs> I'll put it right here. <laughs> um, downtown. <laughs> um, passport. The vowel in the stress syllable pass is ah. So open and keep your lips back. Passport. And the port, you have to round your lips. So it's a lot of movement. Passport. And hold the T. Passport. And 11, password. And now it looks like an OR, but it sounds like an ER. Password. Um, we don't, it's spelled with a W, but we don't say the W. It just sounds like R. Res. Wrestles. Wrestles. Meetup. The T changes to a D. Meetup. Input and output. So remember that the put here is the same vowel as good. Um, there's no way for me to represent that with regular English spelling, so I wanted to put a note to remind you it's not poot. It's put. So don't round your lips. Put. And stress on in and out. Input. Output. And hold the T's and out and put. Out, put, hold it. And then <laughs> pirates. <laughs> so pirates, I, may, I spelled it like pie, so you might think of apple pie. Ritz, pirates, the vowel is I, which is different than the bird, which sounds like pear. I guess it could be a pear pie. <laughs> Parrot. Parrot. And that's different than the word parade. And the stress is on the second syllable, a parade. And then we made a sentence out of all of those. Parade of pirates. Oh, parade of parrots and pirates. Parrots and it will connect. Parade of parrots and pirates. <laughs> oh, Pilates. I keep sk skipping Pilates. It could be p or p. But we don't say P. It's P. Pilates. Pilates. I should spell this with an H so you think ah, uh, Pala. Pilates. Prohibition. I know there's an H in there, and if you say prohibition, that's totally fine. It's correct. Um, I just believe most native speakers are going to be a little more lazy and skip over the H. Proa. Proa. Prohibition. And 19 and 20, and what was the other one? Um, we had E, I, A. 
I think because of whale. Maybe I'm, okay. 19, heat. And I, I just said the T and I don't usually. Heat. I'm holding my T. And this is the E. Your tongue's very high. Heat. And 20 is hit. My tongue's a little lower. Hit. This is, um, heat is like eat and hit is like it. So if you say eat it, your tongue's moving eat it. And that's the same movement you need for heat, hit. So if you add, um, or if you put those together, the T will change to a D. Eat it. <laughs> um, the noun heeding, the T changes to a D. Heeding. And the same if you have ing, hitting. It, the T's change to a D. Hitting. 21. If you say here or here, it's the same. Here. It's the E. Here. And the act of hearing. You need airflow. <laughs> but nothing in the back. <laughs> back here. Just only air. Hearing. Before you start the vowel E. Here. And 22, you don't have the airflow first. You just start immediately with the vowel. Earring. And I think I deleted what I had. Yeah. And 23, personal, as in the adjective. Personal. Personal belongings. And I also hear this a lot more often, I think. Personally. Personally. But if it's talking about um, employees, that's personnel. Dun, dun, dun. Personnel. 25 is spelled so different than we pronounce it. It looks like I run or iron, but we say iron. So I spelled it the way real words are spelled to make you remember I and yearn or I earn. I yearn. And the object is the ironing board. Ironing board. Wheel. So you're going very high for the we, and then you slide down and make a, a Y. Wheel. So don't make it two separate syllables like I have here. Wheel. But slide it together. Wheel. Will. This is I. Your tongue's a little lower, and there's no movement in the tongue. Will. It's flat until I go up for the L. Will. Will. And the contraction wheel, if you're being totally perfect and just practicing by itself, that's easy. Make it wheel. But in real speech, in regular time, um, people aren't taking the time to go wheel. They just make it shorter and the tongue gets flatter and it sounds like will. Like, we'll meet you there. We'll meet you there. You know in context, if it's we, <laughs> the, the pronoun. And 29, well, as in eh, head is the vowel, well. So this is where we had all of the vowel sounds on the front. E, I, A, E. Wheel with an E, will with an I, uh, whale with an A, and well with an E. So Wheel, will, whale, well, well, well. Night. This is I, so you need to raise your tongue. Night. And then we got distracted by meow, <laughs> which sounds very same, the same in, in all these languages, but spelling different, but meow. Panoramic. Panoramic. And the vowel is a, ah, ram. 32 and 33, the B is not stressed, so it can change to B or B, um, but it's going to be very short. So, beside, because, and you can make because even shorter and say because. Whisper, forget about the H, it's just whisper. Could have, if you're going to pronounce the V, the v contraction, then it's dove, could have. Um, but you can also just not pronounce the V and say coulda. And that's why I have I shoulda, coulda, woulda, but I didn't. 
Um, and what was already started here was you could have understood it. And the V will connect to the U if you use it. <clears throat> Excuse me. You could have understood it. Dit will connect. If you would have tried, but you didn't. <laughs> And you can also not say the v and just use a uh, coulda. You coulda understood it if you woulda tried, but you didn't. But you shoulda. <laughs> examination. Examination. Cross-examination. Cross-examination. I'm going to connect the S. Cross-examination. Chief. The vowel is E. Chief. And 38. Practice. I don't really release my K. Practice. Practice. Lack of practice. The K will connect to the O. Well, the U. Lack of. Lack of practice. So we have a lot more um, to start for next Tuesday. <laughs> and I hope you can join us. If you weren't here today, I hope you can join us next Tuesday or tomorrow for intonation practice or Monday for more pronunciation practice. Um, that's it. Have a good day. <laughs>